guys welcome back i won't be before you long um excuse the background because you may hear that i am in a car driving um something was just revealed to me and i was like oh i gotta put this out let me tell y'all something god has been doing his thing you know what i'm saying like god has really been god like and i mean god is always god he's always showed up in my life but he's been showing up for me in so many other ways like i told you guys in the out of the box like take god out of the box because he is in everything and like i said i like to come out and spend my day out and just spend time in his presence because he is definitely there and he's definitely speaking he's always speaking so sometimes we have to just mute our distractions to hear what it is that he's saying but now this is not going to be long okay but what i was just thinking about what like so let me get y'all back so you know i always gotta have a story because this is my testimony what's that song to everyone who made it to many testing trials hopeless situations because that's what we are called to do testify with our testimonies to give god the glory amen and amen so let me tell y'all what just happened to me or what just happened nothing really just happened to me but what god revealed through this right so i was in the store i went to old navy because i seen that they had an email and i was like i need to get my son some little you know thin like little jacket little hoodie jackets or whatever because um it's about to be springtime it's still gonna be cool but it's not gonna be cold well i don't really know because the last last spring was kind of cold but um like today for instance is it's hot but there's still like a breeze so i don't have on a thin jacket but my son had on one because i'm like okay i'm not cold but he's you know younger so i'm like let me just throw you on and he wanted to wear his little sweater today so anyways i go in because i'm sitting here i'm like oh he needs like a little another little thin jacket or whatever and so i said you know what let me go to old navy and see what old navy has because they always have like decent price stuff when it's a sale okay i love old navy but sometimes their prices are kind of like <laughs> but so i went in and as i'm getting ready to check out i didn't find anything for him but i found like one little item um that i have been looking for okay that's a word in itself you go in looking for something to come out with something that you wasn't even expecting to find come on lord amen but that ain't the message but hey that might be for somebody so grab it if it's yours but as i was going to check out right i get to the register and there's always an offer that's what this is about the offers like i told you guys in the beginning of the week and i'm just like it's just like god because i was like okay lord what is it that you want me to pray over in this week so i don't know we are on thursday so we have a few more uh, two more days left in the week because there's seven days in a week friday don't stop the end of the week saturday is the last day of the week and sunday starts a new week so this week the prayer that i prayed over in the weekly prayer was about the decisions that we choose to make making the god decision making the right decision based off the kingdom based off the principles of the kingdom right so i have just been presented with so many offers so many different offers and one of the offers I ended up accepting and God blew my mind. I was like, oh, okay. I wasn't expecting this, but God, okay. And so I knew that I had peace about that one. So I was like, okay, cool. This is awesome. Whatever, right? And so for me, that was it. Um, let me turn that off so you guys aren't hearing like me switching lanes and it beeping all in y'all ears. But so like I said, there was offers being presented. I accepted one of the offers, just one. One of the offers, right? But as I had presented, or I had, as I, come on, Lord, let me get it out. As I had accepted that offer, there were counter offers, right? There were other offers that came to me. And I was just like, nope, nope. There's some I contemplated like, oh, Lord, should I? And I was like, nope, nope, nope. And then today, um, as I was checking out, I seen, like, you know how you go to a store and you shop and they offer you like to apply for a credit card, right? And so I was like, you know, no, not today. No, thank you. And then they asked you, like, are you sure? And it's like, yes, I'm sure. I just want to check out. I just want to pay or whatever. So I walk out of Old Navy and then I go into Carter's. I go into Carter's because I'm like, okay, well, I intended to buy something or a little jacket for my son, but end up leaving with a pair of workout pants for me because my goal is to consistently be diligent in going to a walk and spend time just being physical this year. 
um, or intentionally being physical, okay? Um, I just realized somebody turned my eco off. I went to get my car service today, and I'm like, I'm sitting here like, my car is driving better. It's driving different, but I'm realizing that it's because they turned my eco off. I can't stand, this is just me going to my little rant. I can't stand when I take my car to the dealership, and I get my car back. I got to adjust my seat. I got to put my headlights back on auto. I don't know why they do that. Put my headlights back on auto. I got to adjust my seat, my back. Like, get in my car and do what needs to be done in my car with my settings. Don't change the settings of my car. This is my car. <laughs> Y'all, that's just my little rant. Okay, anyways, that's the message. So, okay, I walk out of Old Navy and I go into Carter's, right? And so I'm looking around like, ah, I don't really see anything. I just literally came in here for one thing. So then I go to the clearance aisle, right? And I found like this little cute little um, jogger set. Because I'm like, okay, it's still cool. He can wear this till, you know, the end of spring or whatever. And then I end up finding like a little Paw Patrol shirt. My baby loves Paw Patrol and Disney cars. Like he loves Paw Patrol and he loves cars. So I said, well, let me get him this little $5 shirt and call it a day. So as I go to check out, the lady's like, you know, did you find anything? Um, did you find everything okay? And I said, yes, you know, um, got a few little items, da, da, da. And so she's like, okay. So she's scanning everything. I'm looking at the price. So I'm like, oh, it was an additional, um, 20% off of clearance. And I said, oh, look at God. I wasn't expecting that. So as I go to get ready to pull out my cart to pay, she says, well, do you want to bring your total down to $13 today by applying for our credit card? I looked at her and I said, no, not today. And in my mind, I'm thinking, every time I, like, I can name a billion stores that I go to, like, JCPenney does it, they offer you the JCPenney card. Um, like I said, Old Navy offered it. Now I'm in Carter's, they're offering it. Um, when I was checking out the other day at Pink, they offered, they were like, oh, you're already pre-approved, just finish your application. And I was like, nope, not getting no credit cards. That's just not something I'm doing right now. I just recently built my credit up and I'm not about to tank it. Getting all these credit card offers because I know how I am. I got to do a lot with the little that God has given me with my credit cards, okay? Because it was a journey to pay down my credit cards, you guys. So, I'm like, I'm not going to get myself back in credit card debt. No, 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 no. And so, when the lady was asking me, like, oh, you know, do you want to apply and drop your balance down to $13? And so, in my mind, I started thinking about what I said the other day when I said the counterfeit always presents itself as the real thing. The, the counterfeit comes before the real thing. And it wasn't necessarily that this credit card may have not been a good decision, but it was the fact of the matter is that the credit cards always present themselves as being a good option. Like, okay, I'm going to apply for this credit card, which is going to take my credit score. Maybe not by a lot, but it's going to stay on the increase, is going to stay on there whether I get approved or not. And potentially, I'm going to be in credit card debt because now I'm going to go swipe at this card once I get approved. And I'm going to save a few bucks on my purchase because I got approved. And we think, like, oh, that's a steal. But when you look at it, it's like, am I really winning in this situation? I mean, at sometimes um, the offers can be good offers and sometimes it's just like ah you know it's kind of like a win-lose situation with credit cards i feel like it, it's 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 50 50 like i said you know you get approved you get you know these credits but eventually you have to pay it back or over time you have to pay it back um you're losing a little bit in your credit score an increase on there and then after so long it falls off so that's just a across the board thing but what the overall message was behind this is that there are offers right there are going to be offers. There are going to be, and that's not just like credit cards or jobs or decisions. Let's not look at it as offers, but decisions because an offer is a choice, right? So there are going to be decisions that you have to make. And it is your responsibility. This just goes bad. Let me tell y'all something. God is good. Because when I, I pray over everything I release, I pray over the weekly words, definitely, because I know that there is something that you guys need to hear. And it may not be something that I'm going through, but whatever God wants me to speak to you guys, I pray and I ask him, like, what do you want me to talk about today? And so when I started praying, I started talking about, you know, making God making godly decisions, not the good decision. Because so, like I said, come on, Lord. Like I said, the offers may not have been bad decisions, 
a good thing doesn't always necessarily mean that it's a God thing. The good thing ain't always going to tear you down and beat you apart. But the good thing may not be a God thing. The good thing may not have God on it. Just because it's good don't mean it's God. So we have to be diligent and use our discernment to seek it out. Ask God, is this a you thing or is this a uh uh-uh, this a me thing? Like, is this a choice that you would be proud of me if I made or is this a choice where it's like, okay, I allowed it and I'll I'll get you through it? Because there's things and times where we as humans, we make decisions and it's not God's best for us. But God still shows up in that thing. He gets us through it. He walks us out of it to push us to the God thing. That's the best thing for us. That's relationships. That's jobs. That's financial hurdles. That's family issues. That's anything across the board. That's a bad deal, a bad contract, a bad vehicle that was purchased. I remember when I purchased my first car, right? Um, And I'm going to end on this because, like I said, this ain't going to be long. The message has already been said. There's going to be offers and or choices that's going to be needed to be made by you. And it's your job as a child of God to search it out and see. Read the fine print. Read the fine print. As I stated um, before with my apartment situation, I was presented with either my choice that I have now or going outside of that choice, right? And I got approved for both. I was already approved for the choice I had now. The other option, I had to go apply and get approved. So I applied, I got approved, but when I started reading the fine print, I said, wait a minute, I'm losing too much on something that's supposed to be a better option. Come on. I'm losing too much on something that's supposed to be good for me. I got to sacrifice too much. I got to compromise too much for something that's supposed to be a good option. And I'm not saying that in the God choices that that's not going to be sacrificed and it's not going to be willing, but it's going to make sense. For me, in this um, time, in that decision, me taking that other apartment wouldn't have made sense. And let me tell you why. For one, the apartment was on the second floor. I didn't want to be on the second floor because I have a younger child. And I felt better on the first floor because when we're getting in and out of the car, whether it's darker night or darker light, I can see. I can keep him close to me. I can go. I can be aware of my surroundings. I can't cover us and protect us. When I'm running up the stairs, let's be real. I can't. And then I have to get groceries. So it's like, I have to grab the groceries and make sure he's getting upset at this point, because he's so young, that's just not something that I'm willing to go through. And when I had him, I was on the second floor. It was a hard time for me getting up and down the stairs with him in his car seat. And then there was like a lot of issues at my old apartment with crime and stuff like that. So people watching, like people, you got to be aware of your surroundings, especially as a woman, you have to be aware. So anyways, that was one of the things. The second thing was being on the second floor, being that I moved everything by myself, I wasn't going to have help. I can't lift no sofa up, no fly the stairs. I don't care. Like, compared to the little three steps that I have at my old apartment versus going up a flight of stairs and then even with the three stairs i didn't have to go down the stairs because i was able to pull my car up where i could just slide something that was heavy i could pull it out the door and pull it to my car and just push that thing on in so when i looked at it i'm like okay me going down the street around the corner maybe somewhere that's five minutes then i would have to get a truck then i would have to have somebody to take me to get the truck then take me back to take like it was i was compromised i was sacrificing too much there's no way i could have did what i did to move in my apartment by myself and have done it with the other choice and like i said god told me this ain't necessarily a bad decision if you choose this place i'm gonna be with you i'm gonna provide everything you need but just look at what you look at the fine print search that thing out so when i sat down one day and i really looked up like the the fine print of the application I was like, you know what? This is not a choice where it makes sense. So I ended up going with the first option, which is where I am now. So my thing is to say all of this, choose wisely. Even the God thing is going to have some kind of like in-betweens. But God's going to consistently show up and it's going to be a smooth transaction. And if you make the wrong decision, God is still going to be there with you. He'll see you through it. He'll get you out. But sometimes in the good decisions, we pick up things in that decision that God never intended for us to pick up. But there's things that God will allow. So we have to go through what we thought we wanted to get where where God was calling us to be in the first place. 
So that is the message. The last thing I was gonna say before I start talking about all this and then that's it um, was when I bought my first car, right? I ended up buying my first car and because I didn't want to wait and I didn't want to be patient, I ended up buying a lemon. I spent a thousand dollars on a Chevy Malibu, a '99 Chevy Malibu. This was like years ago, you guys. So you guys like a '99, yes, a '99, and I love that thing. Okay, but I ended up finding out that what the lady had told me was wrong. She told me a water pump was wrong with it, but it come turned out that yes, it was a water pump, but because the water pump issue had been so bad and so long that it ended up having a thrown rod in the engine. So technically, it needed a new engine, mind you. At this point, I didn't know that because I'm going off what you tell me. But when the guy came to fix my car to fix the water pump, he was like, it's not just your water pump. You need a whole new engine. And so because I didn't wait, because I chose a, what seemed to be a good option, I lost a $1,000. I tried to fight the lady. Let's be real. And I told y'all, I'm going deeper. I'm being real with y'all. I tried to fight that lady. I literally went back to her house and was ready to throw hands with her okay and her answer to me was we it all it happens like it all happens we all get like uh taken advantage of when i said i want to beat that lady down but i'm saved by grace okay <laughs> i want i tried to beat that lady down um but my my mechanic was with me and he was one of my mom's old friends so he was like listen calm down don't do it she's not worth it like this lady will knew that she was selling me a lemon right so anyways like i said y'all I'm saved by grace now, okay? I think before I throw hands, okay? <laughs> but I thought that was a good option because I wanted it. I needed it. I needed it. It presented itself. It, it sounded like a good deal. So I ended up losing $1,000, and I ended up not even being able to drive the car because I got the water pump fit. And then, more importantly, I lost more than a thousand. I lost like, I lost like 1500 because to put the water pump in, he charged me like $500, I think. Or maybe it wasn't that much, but I think... Of everything I had to do, I remember it was like fifteen hundred because it was some other stuff that needed to be done. So I ended up losing fifteen hundred dollars getting a car that I could not drive. It didn't work, so I basically gave away fifteen hundred dollars. And then I ended up, my dad had ended up buying me a car, but he had already passed, and I didn't know that he had bought me a car. He bought me my old, my grandmother's ninety three Chevy Cavalier, and so I ended up driving that. Um, and it lasted me for a little bit, but then eventually it needed work. But I was just like, this is crazy because I knew that he had bought me the car, but I didn't want it because I was like, uh, who finna ride around? It's like 2010, two, no, 2011, 2012. Cause he bought it for me for a graduation gift. And I was like, dad, like I had already bought, I guess he was saving it for me. But by the time he had told me about it, I had already purchased my car. So it was like, well, he bought me that car, but I had just bought my own. Because I didn't tell nobody I was buying it. And see, that's what happens when you try to be grown and do things on your own. You end up making the wrong decisions. So, choose wisely. That's all I got to say. Choose wisely. Put God first. Let him steer you in the right direction to make the right choice. Okay? Because offers are going to be sent your way. Do not accept every offer that comes to you. Even if it presents itself to be a good option. Seek it out. Read the fine print. Dive deeper. Ask God to reveal the fine print of the choices that you have to make in your life. So that's the message. I love you guys. God loves you more. See you on the next one. This is another bonus. Because let me tell y'all something. God is, he out the box. Okay. He out the box. I said, oh, I got to release this. I got to tell the people. <laughs> y'all have a blessed day. Bye.